Hey, what's going on my fellow idiots? Welcome back for another episode of Idiot Proof Cooking. I'm back at it after a week off. Now, I didn't really have a week off, like I had to go travel for work, but you know what? The week off from the channel, not making anything, I really missed it, so I'm coming back refreshed and reinvigorated, and I'm excited to make some videos for you guys again. Now, when I was figuring out what I wanted to make this week for my videos, I started thinking to myself, what is it that I really haven't made for the channel when it comes to cooking? Like, I've made a lot of stuff over the past year and a bit, and I realized I've never made anything with hot dogs. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to actually make the hot dogs because that is not idiot proof. But I thought to myself, what could I make with hot dogs that would be idiot proof and delicious? And I settled on chili cheese dogs, which are just so, so good and they are super easy to make. So let's make them, shall we? All right, my fellow idiots, let's make some chili to start. So get yourself out a large pan, like the cast iron pan I'm using here, and throw in half of a large red onion, throw in a little bit of olive oil, and just fry the onions for the next three to five minutes until they get nice and soft and translucent and fragrant. Once you've fried the onions, it's time to add in our ground beef. So I've got two pounds of 80-20 ground beef here, and I'm just going to fry it, but I'm gonna first break up any large chunks. You want it to be fairly crumbly ground beef, and you also obviously want to cook it all the way through so fry it on a medium heat for the next eight to ten minutes really until it's cooked all the way through you want your ground beef to be fully browned obviously I hope you would know what cooked ground beef looks like after your ground beef has been cooked though it's time to start adding in some garlic so I'm going to mince four cloves of garlic and just mince them into your beef mixture here don't forget to scrape your mincer so you get all that leftover garlic and then I'm just going to stir it in with the ground beef and the onions and let it cook for the next minute or so. Once that's done, I'm going to add in a six ounce can of tomato paste, the whole can, so just scoop it all in. Then grab your spatula and mix the tomato paste in with your ground beef until it's thoroughly combined. What I like to do now is just let the ground beef with the tomato paste just sit and fry untouched for like the next three to four minutes or so. It helps the tomato paste caramelize a little bit and I think it improves the flavor. But once that's done, I'm going to start pouring in a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes and then some beer. Now use whatever beer you like, but I'm using a golden ale and I'm pouring in about a cup and a half's worth of golden ale. And then I'm just going to stir the crushed tomatoes and the ale in with all of the ground beef. From there, I hold on, I forgot to add in some Worcester sauce, so add in about a tablespoon of Worcester sauce and then mix everything together. That covers all of your liquids. So mix that in and then it's time to start adding some spices. I'm going to start off with two tablespoons of brown sugar, one tablespoon of Mexican oregano, one tablespoon of chipotle chili powder. Next in is two tablespoons of dried cumin, so into the pan it goes. And then I'm going to add in a tablespoon of smoked paprika, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper just for some heat, and then I'm going to throw in a good pinch of kosher salt, I would say like a teaspoon and a half, and then last but not least, some freshly ground black pepper. Throw in as much as you want, and then it's pretty straightforward. You just get your spatula again and mix all of your spices in until they're thoroughly combined with your chili sauce. Look at this, it is coming together nicely. So now all we're going to do is throw our lid on our pan and let the chili simmer for the next hour and a half to thicken up. Make sure to leave a crack between the lid and the pan so that steam and moisture can escape from the pan, and you're going to get a nice thick looking gooey chili like this after about an hour and a half two hours look at how beautiful that is and oh boy does it smell good i love making chili it's so easy this is a simpler chili but oh man is it gonna taste good well now that the chili's been dealt with let's cook our hot dogs and make our cheese sauce so we're first going to make a roux into a pan add in a quarter cup of unsalted butter let it melt which will only take a minute or so and then you're going to throw in a quarter cup of all-purpose flour so equal parts butter and flour and then just whisk the butter and flour together until it forms kind of like a paste like this and then we're slowly going to start adding in some whole milk you just want to throw a little dash in whisk it together with the butter and flour and then just throw another dash in the goal is to get about two two and a half cups of whole milk in and it's going to thicken 
thicken up as you stir it with the butter and flour. So continuously whisk it on a medium heat, throw in some kosher salt and some freshly ground black pepper once you have fully incorporated it. As the mixture heats up, you'll see that it starts to thicken up on you, so give it another whisk with the salt and pepper. And then let's pause for a moment because now it's time to cook our hot dogs. I cut some lines in them just so that they cook a little bit more into the hot dog. So I'm just gonna cook them on my frying pan here in some oil. Look at that, they're already looking good and we've only been cooking them for like 45 seconds at this point in time. The hot dogs are super easy. You can boil them really if you want. That's another easy way to cook them. But anyways, back to the cheese sauce for a moment. Let's throw in about three cups of shredded cheddar. Really use whatever cheese you want, but whatever you do use, just whisk it all together with the milk mixture until you get a nice silky smooth cheese sauce like this. Look at how gorgeous that is. Oh boy. Look at how nice and stringy it is. And look at our hot dogs. Oh, they smell great. Here, let me just give you a close up shot of the cheese here. So you know what? We're all done here. So let's go into the other room and assemble. Now I got some hot dog buns here. Now I didn't make these. I just bought them. I know, I know on this channel, I usually like to make my own buns, but hey, I made the cheese sauce and the chili. So I had to cut some corners and I just bought the buns. So we're just going to throw our hot dogs into our hot dog buns. And then it's time to get our nice thick chili. Look at how beautiful that is. So, I mean, hey, they're chili cheese dogs. So let's go on and start adding our chili on first. I'm going to be fairly liberal with the amount of chili I'm throwing on my dogs here. You can put less on if you want. I don't know why you would, but I mean, you could if you wanted. I am going to throw quite a bit of chili on these and I think they're going to be excellent. Next up is the cheese sauce. Look at how gorgeous this is. Oh man. And I'm, again, I'm going to throw quite a bit of cheese sauce on. Maybe not as much as the chili, but enough so that it's nice and cheesy. Look at this. Look at this. They smell so damn good. And then last but not least, I'm going to throw on some pickled jalapenos because I think that's just going to make them taste way better. Add a little bit of spice. Pickled jalapenos are delicious, but voila, we've got some chili cheese dogs here. And you know what? It's time to go in for the taste test here. These are a little bit sloppy as you would expect with a chili cheese dog. And here we go. The taste test time. These are going to be awesome. And oh yeah, those are fantastic. Super easy to make. Like if there's anything to take from this video, how easy they were to make. And Rose is sneaking in here. She wants some. I'll have to pick the jalapenos off. But these were awesome. Awesome, awesome. Obviously, I didn't make the hot dogs. Uh, I mean, hey, there's other channels out there that'll make the hot dogs, but that's not idiot proof in my opinion. The chili and the cheese sauce, super idiot proof and super delicious. So I hope you like what you saw here today. And if you did, why don't you drop me a comment, like the video, or even subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching Idiot Proof Cooking. Oh, hold on, hold on. One last bite before I go. <laughs> Thanks for watching Idiot Proof Cooking, and we'll see you again soon.